Field hockey season came to an end on Sunday, but there is so much more for the team to be proud of. DITV sports reporter Lucy Friedel tells us more about the team's historic season. Field hockey season came to an end on Sunday, but there is so much for the team to be proud of. For the entire 2021 season, the Hawks have been in the top three of the rankings, starting at number three before climbing their way to the top of the rankings for a consecutive seven straight weeks. Their accolades continued into the season with several players receiving weekly Big Ten honors such as Defensive, Offensive and Player of the Week. When the Hawks climbed to the top of the rankings, it marked the first time Iowa field hockey has been ranked number one in program history. The Hawks had previously been ranked number one, but only at the end of the season. This year marked the first time they were number one before the season ended. Yeah, we've got some incredible freshmen coming in, like building this spring. So. I think just looking forward to, to getting to play with that 21, 21 girls and just taking that time to work on the individual things more over the spring and just coming back, back and better next year. At the end of the season, the accolades continued rolling in for the Hawks with Anta Nizel and head coach Lisa Salucci claiming Big Ten of the Year honors. Nizel won co-player of the year for the second year in a row as well as claiming Big Ten defensive player of the year. Coach Salucci won Big Ten Coach of the Year for the third consecutive season, the first time in conference history a coach has received that honor three times in a row. To be outright Big Ten champs, ranked number one for seven weeks, and to not advance to the Final Four is really disappointing. It's not the result, obviously, we wanted, but there is still a lot to be proud of, and their body of work, I think, speaks for how good of a team we are, and that's what happens in hockey sometimes. Um, I think we had a great will to win, but you know, there's a lucky break or a bounce here or there. Um, and that's why this game's so hard to play sometimes. Um, so, you know, ask them to walk out of here with their heads held high, but to fuel this, fuel us going forward. Despite the devastating loss against Northwestern, preventing them from going to another Final Four, this team has so much to be proud of with all they've accomplished in this season. From Iowa City, I'm Lucy Friedel, DITV Sports.